This week in the field, one of the types of days that landscape photographers live for. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In The Field. Before I get into today's topic, really quickly, I am working on an In The Field ebook and I'm actually making some really good progress on it and I'm hoping to have it done very soon. If you are not subscribed to my mailing list, head on over to my blog, get yourself signed up. You'll be the first one to know when it comes out and oh, well, maybe there might be a discount associated with it when it first launches. I'm not saying it will be, but you know, maybe, maybe. So you might want to check that out. But today, I want to talk about uh, just one of those days that is why we go out and try to take wonderful photos in nature. I uh, just had a fantastic sunset. Everything about the shoot was great. Leading up to the sunset, the sunset itself, everything just fell into place. And it's, you know, it's the days that we live for. So let me just show you some footage from this shoot. Lovely La Jolla again. Can't get enough of this place. And uh, this is the most promising sunset conditions I've had in several weeks. Missed out earlier this week. Got a nice high cloud cover and the horizon's pretty well clear. I'm going to get myself nestled down in some of these rocks here. Make sure I avoid uh, the photo shoot that's going on here. A popular place for, uh, for weddings, engagements, photo shoots. Sun setting more or less due west. Grab, grab myself some, uh, some wonderful rock and get set up. Right, I'm going to get myself perched up on this rock you see here. Start panning out toward the west where the sun's starting to go down. This large, uh, what looks dry or at least <laughs> empty right now, that's getting some wonderful crashing and splashing over the top of it. That fills in nicely for the foreground. Beautiful sky in the background. I've got my location set up. Using these rocks here as my foreground. There's my camera. I'm using the polarizer right now. Just take a little drag on the shutter to come in around a eighth or so of a second at f16. And I'm on a rock that's about maybe a foot higher than that swirl right there. I've got a little time where I'm not going to be too uh, in a perilous condition. I just need to keep putting my hand in front of the lens periodically, prevent splash. And now just waiting for a little more light up in that sky. There's a nice glow going on in the, the uh, horizon there. I am very hopeful for some wonderful results tonight. About a half hour before sunset, everything's really washed out right now, but there's still a nice break at the horizon and a break in the waves. This is turning out to be a very wet shoot. I'm about, uh, from about waist down, pretty wet, even up on these, like, these tall rocks, because guys like this keep coming in, splashing everything. So I'm continually wiping down the camera, keeping the uh, front element or the polarizer really uh, clear and just now waiting for the show, it should be really nice. So everything just came together. I'll show you a few of the shots that I took away from this outing and you know, the, the light before sunset was very interesting and the clouds were really cool. The burn itself was fantastic. And even the afterglow, once the sun had gone over the horizon, was still you know just great. And on top of that, had some nice foreground, had a few surfers that were out in the water to add some scale and a human element to it. You know, it's everything just came together. If there is a tip of the week, I suppose that it's be persistent. Keep going out, keep trying. We never know when we're gonna get one of these days. And the only way you're not gonna get it is if you don't make the effort to get out and shoot. So keep at it, don't get discouraged, and you will experience one of these days if you keep trying. So that does it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, as always, I'd appreciate it if you can share this with one of your photo friends, with your camera club. And again, in the field ebook, it's coming soon. Get yourself signed up on the mailing list if you haven't already. You'll be the first to know when it comes out. And I'm, I'm excited about this book. I'm liking the way that it's coming together. Well, until next time, I am Scott Davenport and happy shooting.